On health care, I am in agreement that reform is needed. Escalating costs impact job creation and are a growing burden on American families. I believe that there are several key steps that will allow us to continue to enjoy the world's best health care, but at a lower cost. They start with enabling real consumer choice, tort reform, and saying no to a government-run health care system. Individuals and the free market, not government bureaucrats, understand how to maximize their financial well-being. Consumers need access to a truly free market. One favored approach involves tax options that incent consumers to purchase their own insurance and manage their own spending. This would likely prove to be a more cost-effective approach than when a consumer only has a small copay and the employer and insurance provider pay the rest. Now the consumer becomes more cost-conscious, which helps control costs throughout the system, all without a government-run plan. Tort reform is another piece of the equation. We need to allow doctors and patients to give and receive the proper level of care, not continuing to perform defensive medicine. This would also contribute towards lowering the cost for everyone. In my view, there would be so many problems with a government-run health care system, it is difficult to even know where to start. As you have all heard before, government-run health care would have the efficiency of the post office with the compassion of the IRS. The health care mob, Obama, Reed, Pelosi, promised Americans that costs would come down and that there, that there would be no rationing. Both ladies and gentlemen, are a lie. And having had the opportunity to review these 2,000 plus page bills, we know that the details are much worse. In the words of Hubert Humphrey, it was once said that the moral test of government is how the government treats those who are in the dawn of life, the children, those who are in the twilight of life, the elderly, and those who are in the shadows of life, the sick, the needy, and the handicapped. We now know where the government plan stands on taxpayer-funded abortions rationing of elderly care, the ability of a bureaucrat government panel to determine when women can be screened for cancer rather than on the advice of their doctor. Furthermore, I would challenge anyone to find a single government-run social program that has not exceeded their original budget estimate multiple times over, and none of them are to a level as complicated as running health care. The bottom line is that government-run health care is unconstitutional, and it has never been about health and never been about care. It has never been about bending the cost curve. Otherwise, we would simply improve the system that most Americans are happy with by a two-thirds majority. An analogy might be making the decision to send your car, which you otherwise like, to the junkyard because it needs a tune-up in order to improve gas mileage. The truth is the government plan is about control and represents a significant step in the removal of more American freedoms and will harm our economy immensely. As your representative, I promise to fight any proposed health care reform that is not based on free market principles and the removal of government interference. We know that this is just the first step and it must be stopped now. Should it pass, real conservatives need to be elected who promise to reverse this plan when the time comes. I am that conservative candidate for the 4th District and I am asking for your vote. Thank you.